what's going on everybody t mr legacy builder here and thanks for tuning in to the channel if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe for more bit videos dealing with business real estate and multiple streams of income so look this video right here is for those people who are doing real estate investing but since covid have not been successful with a lot of their outside marketing strategies. So marketing strategies, what I mean by outside marketing strategies are strategies that you were doing via offline. Now, real estate is a numbers game, first and foremost. So with all the things that's going on today in the market, it can be kind of easy for you to feel like oh, this is not working because it's not the new thing with text message marketing, email marketing, um, ringless voicemail marketing, which is an offline form. Um, text message marketing is another offline form of internet marketing, as well as um, ringless voicemail is another offline form. So say those aren't working. Um, I like to cut straight to the chase. So real quick, Comment below which one of those marketing strategies you have been using in the last 30 to 90 days. And what are your results from it? Are you seeing conversions? Are you seeing responses? Or are you getting a lot of, I've been contacted this way, don't call me no more. I'm curious to hear what, you've, what, you, what you're getting. So respond at the bottom. So the reason you're not getting a response I can guarantee you it's something dealing with your follow-up process or you're not targeting enough people. So what that means is maybe you got a thousand people you're targeting and your targeting is just too broad. Maybe you're just targeting absentee owners with distressed properties, um, meaning the property look real bad, grass is overgrown. And since everybody can see that, that's an easy eyesore everybody is targeting that from all the different gurus and all the different people that's talking about real estate myself included as a um creative real estate investor of seven years plus that's an eyesore everybody is targeting that and a lot of people like myself and others who have enough money to play the long game that's in a drip campaign that's gonna constantly be targeted so instead of that tip number one go after a problem that you know multiple ways to solve. So what I mean by problems that you know multiple ways to solve, those could be eviction problems. Maybe you went through an eviction as a um, business owner and you decided and figured out how to solve that problem. If you know all the steps and all the loopholes around evictions, then that would be a problem that you can target and solve. Remember, you want to target problems that you have multiple ways of solving. He or she who knows how to solve a problem um, in depth will always win. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, let me know what comments in the comments. Let me know what types of problems that you can think of in real estate that you can solve. Um, tip number two, stack the problems. A lot of times people are in real estate, they're going through different types of things with real estate, but their problems, and we just gonna stick on the general, their problems are still what they're hearing from other people, absentee owners, pre-foreclosures, tired landlords, um, vacant properties, um, shoot, um, foreclosures. And, and the list can go on and on and on. Um, multiple mortgages, upside down mortgages, um, tax liens, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All those are good problems, but list stacking those problems are vital for you as a real estate investor because that gives you more pain point and more of a, not a guarantee, but more of a probability. And that's, gym that's the gym bing 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 that's the gym in real estate a better probability that that person will be interested 
in an offer or selling it to you. So if you don't know how to do creative real estate investing, you've never stumbled through it or you've never partnered to do that, um, wholesaling is what you're doing. There's nothing wrong with that, at least right now. Always, I'm going to just say it in the video, CYA, always cover your assets to make sure that wholesaling is still okay where you are. And for those of you who don't know what wholesaling is, wholesaling is nothing more than obtaining a contract to or agreement to purchase a property from someone like you would with a traditional property. However, you're direct to the homeowner and then you're taking that contract and you're selling it to another investor or another individual who have the actual funds to purchase it from you. You're basically selling your equitable rights. That's what wholesaling is. Always CYA, get with a real estate attorney, cover your assets to make sure that's still legal in your states. Now, tip number three, and by the way, thank you guys for staying to the end of the video. Um, if you didn't already, click that link that came over in the iCart, click the link in the description. I am making sure that business owners are not missing vital times to keep up with their compliances with their business, which is something that I talk about when it comes to getting business credit. You want to be compliant. Check this video out that's over my head or in the description about um, obtaining business credit. But you want to be compliant, whether you're obtaining business credit or not. So click this link right here or the one that popped up earlier about staying compliant and doing things on the deadlines. Tip number three. Now you, we went through list stacking, we went through solving the problem. Tip number three and my favorite step, hold up. Tip number three and my favorite step that I feel will help you guys is partner to win. Now what I mean by that, you partner to win when you run into a, a deal maybe it can't be wholesale so it's a dead deal to you because that's the only thing you might know you reach out to other investors now there's more wholesalers openly out there so a lot of times you might run into wholesalers who are creative real estate investors and what i mean by that i mean real estate investors who only wholesale or real estate investors who know how to wholesale and no other creative real estate investing strategies. So you wanna partner out of the problem. So partner to win and partner out the problem is the true tip number three. Now, how you do that? You get in different groups, you position yourself and you reach out to different individuals and let them know. You have to be willing basically to take a piece of a grape instead of trying to get the whole watermelon and what i mean by that is you want to be willing to take 25 percent 30 percent um even 15 percent to get the deal done you want to build off of huds meaning transactions that you've closed so that you can document your process and you can win now the whole purpose of this video was to give you guys the perspective of knowing that it's okay and your off-market strategies will work if you work them. Now, I could have went in depth, but your time is valuable and I like to get right to the point, but I always want you guys to strive to make it better and remember we're in the business of selling um, our services as solutions and solving problems that other people can't solve, meaning the 95% that's online. Um, with realtors, we're solving the 5%, those problems that realtors and others can't help. So remember, be a problem solver. Make sure you sub um, subscribe, you guys, and if you like what I was talking about, um, please let me know if you wanna hear more videos dealing with going in depth with um real estate investing or problem solving or any one of the tips if you want me to go in depth definitely let me know in the comments and i appreciate you guys time this is t mr legacy builder
Peace.